give a little update. We have not gotten a call back. Well, Peter has not gotten a call back from the principal, Charles Upson, regarding the situation with the Bogars and their missing nine-year-old daughter last week, if you saw the show. So today I want to thank Peter and Patty, who's our switcher today, back in the studio. I'm so lucky to have them here helping me. Hope you guys uh, checked out Niagara. Oh, no. Oop. Sorry, brain fart. Hope you guys checked out Your Accountability with Sam and Dave. That was prior to my show. So they go on Tuesdays at 7. They had the cleaning people on today, showing you guys how to stay safe in these dark COVID times. Friday nights, we have Niagara Graffiti with um, Sean and Tim. That goes on at 7. And I need to say a special thank you to Sam for my cannoli donuts. All right, now for tonight's show. So we have not one, but two very special guests. There's a lot going on in the world right now, right? When I was growing up, you were either straight or you were gay. That's, whether there was more out there, whether there wasn't, that's what I understood. That's how I was raised. It was one or the other. That's not so much today. And I'm not opposed to any of it. I just don't understand it, which I'm sure, like many of us, many of you watching, you might not understand it either, right? So who better to explain it than someone who actually lives it? So I would like to introduce with you Phoenix, who is non-binary, 14 years old, and Asher, who's my child. Say hi. Hi. Hello. So why don't you guys, Phoenix, why don't you start by telling me what is non-binary mean? Okay, so basically non-binary is when one does not feel like a female nor a male. Yeah. They could either there's be it's like in between the lines of female and male, which is opposed to not feeling masculine and not feeling feminine. So they would like to use they them as their pronouns. So it's basically not lined up with the whole one gender for every person. There is multiple genders out there, of course, but non-binary equally exists with no gender. So can you go a little more into this? When you say, like, not masculine, not feminine, I mean, so like, I guess I don't want to sound ignorant, but I kind of <laughs> am because I don't, I don't really understand. Like, do you, so... Well, if I mean, you're going to use them in a conversation, instead of him or she, you would use they or them. No, I understand that part of it, the pronoun part of it. What I don't understand is, like, so when you're thinking or feeling, like, when you see clothes, let's just say, for instance, how are you attracted to an article of clothing that you want to wear? Because um, you don't necessarily go in the girls' or the boys' section, right? Honestly, they would choose, like, me personally, I would, like, do a big baggy shirt from the man section and maybe a skirt from the female section. So you mix it, like mesh it like up together. Like mix and match yeah, female and male's clothes. So there's like no lines. Like when people say don't color outside the lines, you really don't have any lines. Exactly. You're just coloring all over the place. Yeah, it's like you're scribbling all over the place not caring about the lines. <laughs> when did you realize that you were non-binary? If you don't um, mind me asking. No, I don't mind. Um, it's... Very complicated to say, because I was confused because I would never fit in with what men would like to do or what female like to do. I would just focus on what I would like to do and what I like to wear. Like, honestly, it was kind of hard growing up, choosing what I would like to be or what I feel like. But at the end of the day, I know that me being myself is just the end of the line right there. Like... I would wear baggy clothes or skirts or dresses or maybe put both of them together, honestly. And then I'm like, you know what? No one else feels this way. So something. This has to mean something. One thing in life. So, of course, I had to do my research because I was confused. So then I found out it was non-binary. So I looked more into pride and more into what non-binary stands for. Basically, that's where they lead me to here today, knowing about them and knowing how I'm feeling now. 
when you did find that the research that you found and you read it, did it make you like you felt comfortable? Like you finally understood and felt where you fit? Like it, it kind of described what you were going through? Yes, it did. It I finally found one place that I belonged. Like, yeah, we all feel that way, like we don't belong in a certain area. But I found my area to be. And I fit comfortably in that spot. So I just want people to learn and to see what it's like to belt, of course. Now, you know, like, you come to my house all the time or, you know, whatever. Sometimes I don't remember to say they or that, you know what I mean? And yeah. that, does that bother you? Because, you know, I'm not doing it. And I know there's other people out there like me that aren't purposely not, you know, saying the right words. It's just not something that... Number one, I don't think of it. Like, it's just what, you know what I mean, what pops out of my head, and it's sometimes confusing, you know? Honestly, that's understanding because I get, like, called she or he most of the time when I'm out in places. But one thing is that I know that if you correct them on their punctuation or their sayings, they will finally start to understand slowly. You can't really just say, oh, well, no, that's wrong. Try again. Like, you can't be mean about it. Right. You got to educate them on what it, what it is and how to remember that. Honestly, I get it a lot. Like, even my mom forgets sometimes I get it a lot. So if I was saying to you, like, what do you want? Would it just be you, the word you? Or is it what do y'all want? It, most likely you would just say with you. Yeah, it would okay. be just you. I guess that's mo most of the confusing part for me sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah, like... Honestly, if you were going to use a masculine, you would be like, hey, Asher, do they want something to eat? Or do you want something to eat? Are they okay? Do they need some? Like that. But more speaking directly to you. So if I was like, yes. if you want, do you want dinner? Or do you want, like, we just want some McDonald's. What did you want? That, that's okay to say, like, yes. yeah. in those it was terms. Okay. Say that. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, yeah, I understand. It can get very confusing because growing up and being in school, you learn that using they is like multiple people, not just one person. Right. Sometimes you just got to think it's one person you're talking to. That just probably has that pronoun. And, yeah, it's confusing. But, honestly, just having that person correct you, explain it through, We'll make it easier to understand. Now, your mom's completely supportive. Yes, she is. Very Do you supportive. find it in school that you're not being supported by the teachers and the faculty or the students? All, some, none? Okay, well, that's a little complicated because I, I most would... of my teachers support me. Most of them don't. And I can understand that it's really hard to remember and because you have so many students... But I get supported half the time. What were you saying, Ash? What were you going to say? I was going to say that most of them don't even know, besides teachers like Mr. Ebersole. No, my, all my teachers know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but with the students, it's, like, totally different because it depends on who they grew up with, what their parents are teaching them. Sometimes parents today is just, like, full out and disgusted in the LGBTQ because they think it's not right. Because that's not what they grew up with. And that's completely understandable. So I I, I completely agree with you. And, it, and we try to, people try to be understanding. I'm not against it. Like I said, I just don't understand. understand. It. It's like, yes. Growing up, I had gay cousins. My mom had gay like cousins. Uncle, like Nick. Well, Nick, but that's my little cousin. Like, I have older oh. cousins. You, you forget, mommy's older, older. <laughs> but, it, again, then it was just man, woman, gay, straight. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's it's evolved, and it's changed, and it's added a lot of letters, alphabet mafia. Okay? It's just, you know what I mean? So, like, I when I was your age, and I was a rebel, and I wasn't going through any of this, I was like, man, my parents don't understand shit. You know? And now when you add regular teenage complexities with now all of this like it's just a lot to you know process yeah and a lot of people not you guys but a lot of people get offended you know what i mean really easily and are just like blah but you know it's it's a it's a lot to i'm 40 years old so it's a lot for me to unlearn to try to learn something new so 
from what I understand, if people get offended for you, like, not understanding very well, it's because they come from a person, people that supports them entirely and they're just used to it. Honestly, if that ever happens, just, you just apologize and just maybe, like, try to make them understand that you weren't used to it and that's not in your vocabulary. Right. What I've learned is if I meet someone new, of course I'm going to ask them so I don't mess anything up. Yeah, of course, remembering they, them, even myself, I misgender myself. Yeah, that's right. happened a couple times. And it's just hard to remember even myself, which I can understand. Cause yeah, because you're so used to calling yourself by what you were before than what you are now. Yes, which that entirely can lead to a different thing. Phoenix, yes. uh, we have a question on the uh, on the comments on Facebook, and it's that who are you attracted to, male, female, or both? Oh, actually, show them the flag. <laughs> I have my flag here, here with you me. Hold that. Um, it's a pan flag. Okay, so I'm going to explain this like to you. Like Peter Pan? Me to help <laughs> no, you not I'm like just Peter kidding. Pan. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> need me to help you explain it. Um, yeah, it's going to take a little bit. Okay, I'll, just, I got I'll be this. Tinkerbell I got and sprinkle some fairy words. dust on you. I have this, I have this <laughs> with a few words. Pansexual basically just means that they like everyone. So, like in all gender groups. So, yes, basically you would say I'm attracted to both female, male, and... Not anything animal, else. Right? Anything else in what? that category. I'm just being funny. <laughs> animal? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> animal, <laughs> mineral, I'm just being funny. <laughs> Oh, so you, you don't tell them see... the joke. No, I'm going to save that for later. Well, how did you explain it to me? Did you say, like, you don't see a person for who so, they are? You see them, like, their insides? It's basically personality. you like everybody with, a, with personality, like a nice personality, a mean personality that you could possibly think you can change. You can't, trust me, but that's a whole other <laughs> <know>. show. <laughs> I know, that's a whole other yeah, show. Yeah, of course you know that. But, um, yes... It's about just liking people with a personality. So now wait, is you identify as non-binary mm -hmm. and pan, or is it it's just both? It's okay. See, so this is where I'm, I get so confused. I'm going explain. to explain Thank it. You. Okay. So non-binary would be my gender. Okay. Okay. Pansexual is the sexuality. Will be my sexuality and what I'm feeling towards a person. Oh, okay. Does that, that make more sense? Yes, yeah. that makes more sense. I just okay, didn't know. Good. So like when you introduce, like you just say hi, I'm. Bi or not bi? I'm non-binary. Non I keep non saying bi. <laughs> non banana. Non-binary and pan. So that's how you would identify yourself, right? Yes. Okay. And it goes. It's very funny to be non-binary as well because you can like be funny and make up your own like gender and be like, yo. My gender is Michael Jackson. My pronouns are. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, <laughs> that's a good one. That's that a was good a really one. good one. Or joke. like a battery pack, and my pronouns are battery. Oh, very. <laughs> you should tell them the joke about the pan. I will do it. Well, what's Just your flag, out? Asher? You're gonna have to help me out here. This is a tougher one to explain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is the transgender flag. So. Transgender is... Okay, we're just going to flop that over my head now. <laughs> <laughs> transgender is basically when a female or male wants to transition to the other sex. Like saying... <laughs> <laughs> like saying, you're a female, but you don't feel comfortable in the female body, so you wish to be a man. You would go to through different stages... And, yeah, it can be tough because then you have people who will be very rude to you and comment saying that you were born a female, stay a female. Like, yeah, it gets hard. But there are people out there who actually do trans transition into a male and are a male today and mm -hmm. females as well. Like Tyler. <laughs> you don't know Tyler. I, we... I, I know quite a few. I don't, I mean, I can't say I understand what's going on in your guys' heads because I, I don't. I love and support you. That's why I thought maybe we could educate others because there's so much confusion surrounding all of these things. There's also a lot of hate as well. There is. And how do you, how do you deal with that? I just don't care. 
<laughs> okay, so you can go about the hate in two ways. Like, you can reach Break out down. to someone <laughs> and try to get the world to understand a little bit, ignore it, or just literally correct them and show them what you mean. But of course, if they don't want to listen, why bother? Right. Because you're just gonna the it's just gonna go right over their head. It, but honestly, I just ignore the hate because at the end of the day, I'm me and I should feel how I want to feel and not how other wants me to feel. That's right. Phoenix, you've had some comments here that I want to share with you. Oh. Um, Andrea Lee is saying so proud of both of you both and uh, be you always. Thank you. And you met David earlier. He talked about his transgender daughter who mm -hmm. says much of what you're saying. She echoes it as well. Um, and, and as David also points out, good, don't give them the time of day if they spew hate. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes people's ignorance leads them to hate before they understand. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. thankfully you're up here helping people to understand. Of course. As long as I can help people understand, it's like... You just got to take time and to explain it. It's a lot bit hard to explain. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Your hair's a bit messy. Sorry, well. I was doing some mom duty on one of my crotch <laughs> albums. I, sorry. Okay. But honestly, thank you so much. Please be yourself and, yeah, don't let people get to you. You want to hear it's something funny? Nothing. I'm a transformer. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you deal though when you go places and you don't feel and i know it's gonna be a kind of hard question but when you can get the vibes that you're not being accepted and what you're going through and you can feel that i mean how does that make you feel as, as a person honestly Maybe that just first. makes me really upset because there's something called internet for a reason it just takes a couple of minutes to type in what you're looking for to understand it more like I just, it's just really upsetting the way this people just come out and just judge other people. Like, I have had this happen many, many times, and it just takes one person to ruin your day. Like, I could be happy out with friends, and just one person comes up to me knowing what I am, guessing what I am, and just saying it. Like, not even, like, a nice gesture, like, a, hi, how you doing? Just like, yeah. you're supposed to be a female, not a male. Like, I don't understand. It takes one person to ruin someone's day. You know, there is a lot of ignorant people on the planet. I have one thing to say about that. Their ego's too big for their head. That's right. You're, and you're right. And I think Peter was saying a lot of people, when they don't understand something, they get, they shut down and they get defensive and then they get a little nasty. And I'm not excusing that because I think it's wrong. Mm -hmm. What I hope is that everybody on both sides can learn and nobody can be nasty to each other. That's what we're trying to get the world to learn that sometimes you can't be stuck in the past. If you're going to be stuck in the past, you're just digging yourself a deeper hole. You got to get yourself out of that hole and maybe start educating yourself or Having your child who's been who's in this generation educate you on it. Mm -hmm. There's multiple children out there who are strictly hateful because their parents are hateful about it. I understand that it's not the child who's doing it. It's how the parents are raising the child to be. Well, that's a very mature response from you at such a young age. I just don't care. I, guess <laughs> I know my child. I know you. <laughs> But you get that from your mama. <laughs> kind of. I care kind a little of. bit. Crotch goblins. My crotch goblins. <laughs> you get, tell a joke. That's, you get, a, that's a whole new word. We love it. It is. But, um, it's such a good word. Just wanted to remind everyone, we have a call-in line. And um, oh, uh, Giovanni uh, de Grolier. Uh, oh, that's my kid. That's Gia. 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 She says, um, she says, uh, hi, beautiful people. <laughs> so, hi, Gia. Thank you. I'm Is sure Kayden she included there? me, but. Uh, <laughs> I can assure you Caden's probably there. And, uh, it, and so we just want to remind people of our call-in line, 716-266-9442. No, 9422. Ah, that's why people are calling somebody in West Seneca right now. That's good. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's right in front of us. <laughs> 
It's yeah, but I I told him wrong. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I have a stoner brain. But my doctor said Child. that I can do it. So <laughs> <laughs> you're still doing it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I need another minute. So, do you guys? What I wanted to know is, do you guys have like a group of friends that are going through similar things that you guys try to? Yes, actually, yeah, actually, we are. We know a lot of people. Yeah. And do they get give you support? Or I mean, oh, they give they, us oh, yeah, straight they up definitely support. They do. It, but they give us support because they're also in the gay community. But and, they also know what's going on. And you know what? On. Little jokes are fine. As long as they're not offensive jokes about it, it's fine. Like someone earlier today called this a cotton candy flag. That, that was, was just a little funny. joke. That <laughs> was a little joke. That's not even... And then I ran off. <laughs> well, that it wasn't, wasn't, very, like that wasn't very hateful. It does look kind of like cotton candy. It is. Yeah, yeah, that's the yeah, joke. It tastes it's, like plain it's cotton. cotton. We make... Does it? Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat my flag. I'll eat mine then. Mine but didn't you guys have, and I just want to point this out again with Lockport Schools. <laughs> didn't, you guys, didn't you guys now, today was pajama day at, they go to oh, school oh, to at Aaron Moselle Junior High. And kids were allowed to walk around with their friggin' little snuffy blankets. Yeah, I but they, was not allowed right. to wear this anyway. The flag. Uh, yes. Because they said someone's going to take it. I have a problem with that. I I I thought that was pretty annoying. I myself, lovely, gave my teacher a death gl- glare. Because that's yeah, not that, right, right? German, because, my because you know, there's people walking around with big fluffy blankets and big stuffed that bears drag that, across the floor that aren't even like part of the. Old so how did thing. that make you feel when the she? Said I thought that, that was pretty annoying. Honestly, that's all I, I th- thought of. I felt disappointed. I didn't right argue there. though. Well, sadly, I would have. Uh, you are allowed to stand up for yourself, and you should know that being my child. Mm-hmm. Of course, I know that. You say it every day. That's right. Yeah. Listen, I also. Is Gia still there? <laughs> Gia said just hi, beautiful people. And G- Auntie Gabe said stick to the people who love and understand you. Pay no one else no mind. You're right. You have to find your tribe. Yes, and thank you. Your tribe. Thank you. And what, even what? if you're not an LGBT, I have to find my tribe. Everyone has to find their own. You know, pack of people that understand them as a person, which, let's be real, well, understanding people at all is real difficult. And then when you have differences, you know, sometimes those differences can become blockers. Because like what Peter said, I'll reiterate again, when people don't understand something, sometimes they shut down. You know, that old saying, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Part of part of that is true, you know. I mean, my mom is, is being understanding, and my mom's, you know, from a, a different generation, and she's accepting. I don't want to say understanding. She's accepting. I don't know that she completely understands either, and nor do I. You know, which is why we want these girls to, to try to educate some people. You know, if you're feeling, if you're another teenager, these girls are 14. If any of my friends have kids or friends that have kids that are going, message us. We can start a group chat. Maybe we can have you guys meet somewhere. Like, I just feel like you guys too, need. Too. We what, have multi- what, we honey? can contact us, too, too. You can contact uh, my the children, we my have little crotch goblins. social medias we can use. Speak up. We have a ton of different social medias we can use. Is that better? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Get them yes, out like your Speak mother. Up. Speak up. Speak up. Honestly, it's just... You gotta there's, tell us first. there's a lot of stuff going on in this world Now, today. you have two names, right? Like Adriana has Asher, you are Leah, and you have Phoenix. Do your teachers... Call you Phoenix? Will they? Do they? You know, Mr. okay. Has, Mr. Eversol so has. I literally have like four teachers out of nine. Uh, four teachers out of nine. nine that call me Phoenix. The rest call me Leah. Which I had my counselor email the whole my whole teacher group about what I wish to be called. Yet they half of them have not exceeded with that. Yeah, you've seen Mrs. German. Yeah. So, yeah, because I actually called the school for Asher when she wanted to change her name, and, you know, she's going through that thing. I keep saying she's sorry. Forgive me, whatever. I know. Um, But I called the school, and I talked to the guidance counselor, and they were actually really great with me because I'm crazy. And I said, listen, and I told the guidance counselor this, didn't I, Asher? I said, listen, I get it that some people don't understand, and some people don't like it. What I asked the counselor to do was place my child with teachers that, even if they didn't accept it, that if they were understanding, if they wouldn't give my kid a hard time. Because the first time someone makes my kid cry in that school over this, I'm coming in there, and they know that. 
Oh, well, then, yeah, there's been a lot of points where this one would have a mental breakdown. Okay, yeah, I know. I've had multiple <laughs> within the last year. Yeah. Okay, to be, to be fair, I almost had a panic attack today. Okay, so. I know you did. Because of the teachers? No, it's mostly the students. Mostly it was a student that almost made me But do you tell the teachers what these students are doing to you? No, because honestly, they don't really care. And they won't do anything. Yeah, they don't really do a thing about it. You can literally scream a cuss word in lunch and they will not do anything. That's not okay. But once that's you not, have that's not okay. They only once you have this thing people. out once you have this thing out, they come up to you and yell at you. If you're not sitting in your seat at lunch, they come up and yell at you. I was being nice and getting my friend's hair out the way and I had to stand up to do it. And then the teacher came over to me and like what is this, a salon now? And I'm like, I stare at him. Deadly stare at him. I'm like, yes, it is. He walked away. And I wasn't I, dealing with that. Well, I saw what you mean, because when I went to pick up G and Joey the other day, this girl was freaking out, swearing at the teachers, and they did nothing but just stand there. Nothing. They did nothing. And the teachers don't really explain anything after you're absent for days. Yeah, this one had multiple assignments None of the teachers not done, explained a thing. And he's confused. They're well, not very helpful. Mommy will take care of that. <laughs> but are they, are they understanding, like, as far as... You guys haven't came to them at all and told them that anyone was giving you problems about that? I haven't that. had any problems. You haven't had any problems no, at all? Or are you just not telling teachers. me you had any problems? <laughs> no, we don't want you to go mama teachers. bear on the school, okay? But I will, because that's what parents are here for. That's what they're supposed You know, supposed you tell your do. mom, I know your mom, Candy, she supports you. I support Asher. We can't make change in the world if you guys don't tell us what's going on. I say they should have a people day. A people day? Yeah, sometime this week. I can't say girls because that wouldn't I really can, work. I can really... Oh, my God. You Social media break. is... Why the is worst there? Thing do you guys ever. have like a group in school, or does your guidance counselor offer any kind no. of? Um, no, we don't have any form of LGBTQ plus groups in our school. Actually, I'm I'm I want to I want to talk to my counselor about that. Thank you, Jess. I just want to say thank you to Jess, Sam, Andrea, Dave. They're all watching the show, and they are all saying you're two lovely people. It doesn't matter what they want to identify. You're good humans, and that speaks back to what you were saying about the pansexual, right? Yes. You look at somebody. As, as a human, you know what I mean? Which I don't think I don't any of us are humans. I look at people for their looks. It's for their soul, right? For their, who they are. Yes. And, you know, I'm part of the 8th grade student council in my school, so I can probably be able to suggest that to the person who's running it at our school. Okay, so that's a great friggin' idea, Andrea. <laughs> like, that's a great, I'm going to swear, that's a great fucking idea. Thank you. We swear Use a lot. your mouth. I don't care. You use your mouth. What did grandma always say? If you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. So if you feel there's an injustice being done, you were voted on that student council, you got to use your position in that to make a fucking change. Right? Mm -hmm. If we don't speak up to try to make change, there will never be any change, right? Mm -hmm. And the thing is, I also know one of the principals, because he was also the principal I had at George Souther. Do you feel comfortable talking to him? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if He's there's really problems, you write down a list and you guys bring it together. If they don't listen to you, then bring me in and I'll go with you. If they still don't listen, well, I don't know, because we're still waiting to hear back from the principal of Charles Upson. Lockport schools don't like to call back. No, they really don't. And the Lockport schools like here, call. they are horrible. Well, if I have to bring cameras and protest out in front of the schools, that's what I'll do if they're not listening to you kids. But you have to start somewhere, and you have to do it with respect. You can't, you know, go in there demanding things. You have to tell them what's going on. Make a list of grievances. Do you guys know what grievances are? Yeah. What's a grievance? Uh, a <laughs> something sad. Well, if, if, like, a kid came up and made fun of you, right? Uh-huh. Write down and you tell them. If they don't do anything, then I'm coming in there. You know, people were spreading rumors about this kid, right? They told a counselor and they did nothing about it. See, like, that's no. not okay. I'm sure you guys know. Thing. Like, you made that comment, all the social media. Hello. Yeah. Focus. Okay. Sorry. It's my kid, so I can do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wanted to know what it was. Remember you guys made that comment about being able to help people. There's tons of social media outlets, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, fucking flip that around because on the other side of that, Social media can be used as a fucking tool to destroy people, yes. to cause suicides. I have a friend who's I friend have to say something about that as well. Killing themselves because they were bullied online for being gay. 
So there's there's all these places that people can just use things to really hurt people. What we want to do is use things to help people, right? And I have something to say about that. Go ahead, that. honey. So, honestly, I don't... Social media is there for everybody. Everybody, everybody should feel safe. But yet, there's people out there who use it to hurt. You're right. And at the end of the day, why do that? Why take your time and energy to make someone feel bad? Do you want to know why? Because misery loves fucking company. And I try to tell my kids, don't I, Asher? When people are acting out at school or being nasty, eight, I don't want to say nine or ten because there's always that off 20%, but eight out of ten times, so that's 80%, that person, that child... That adult, because you know I've had people come after me online. They're miserable in their lives. They're hurting. They're empty. They're aching. And they don't have enough self-love or balls even to say, (laughs) I need help. I'm hurting. Can someone help me? Instead of doing that, they turn nasty and try to hurt the next person. And the next person might kill themselves. That's why I always tell my kids, don't hurt people. People who um, are feeling down and have a worse household, Always goes for the bullying. For some reason. I don't know. You want to know why? Because they're feeling bullied. So it's like fright. They they project. They want someone hurt. Right. They want someone to hurt. And sometimes they don't even want to. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes you guys, by words and by actions, you can really hurt someone else. Like I'm sure you guys have been hurt. Yes. And that person might not even have meant it in a nasty way. You know me, Asher. I say shit all the time. I'm sure I've heard everybody <laughs> you know in the studio. Don't forget about elementary school when I had to deal with that one kid. Uh, elementary that, well, that's what school I'm saying. So we sucks. need to be mindful not only of how we're perceiving things because I perceive things wrong all the time. And if you don't communicate, it can blow up. I don't want you kids being hurt. I don't want you hurting anybody else. So what can we do? What do you think is a good suggestion that maybe we can draw up a proposal and talk to the school, like maybe a support group or, well, or we'll an have extra? An anti-bullying program at our school is it working not really that's the million dollar question though is it working no no, 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 no. certain teachers in my own lunch period i don't know about any of the other ones they only target certain students are those students no some are dark skin some have ginger hair why target the gingers <laughs> <laughs> well you know it they do certain people do even subconsciously target other people because they're different. It's been happening for generations. That are doing it. So if you have a grievance against a teacher, you make them all up and we go to the principal with them because they should not be allowed. Teachers, this is what we just talked about last week. Teachers are fucking there to protect you. They are there to help you. They're there to teach you. They're not there to hurt you or make your fucking little innocent fucking minds into mush and wonder why you have to go to school and make them feel like this person who's there to fucking teach you is hurting you and making you feel less than you are. And that's where I have to come in and say something. Go on, Dara, please. So, you know how there's, like, dress codes, right? Yes. Yeah. At the end of the day, why would men care about your shoulders? Why do they care about your stomach, your knees? That's another What is okay, it well, well, about them? So, I'm going to be honest. You don't want my opinion on that. <laughs> we want your opinion. You oh. want my opinion? Yeah. Cover your stomachs while you're at school because it ain't a place for that. The T-shirts, I don't agree with that. But as far as... Covering your stomachs while you're in school. Okay, like, yes, I can You little understand. hooligans. I can I understand that. Something? Like, like things, like shirts that crop tops should here. right. Those should be allowed. I do think you like, should be able to wear. You know that's practically allowed at our school, right? I've what? seen multiple kids wearing oh my that God. type of clothing. They don't allow um, tank tops, but they allow crop tops. And that, these are see these are issues though that we can bring light to. That why can't we get everyone in Niagara County to bring grieve against, grievances? Excuse me, against these teachers. Not even grievances. Points that our children are feeling like shouldn't schools listen to what the kids are fucking saying since they're the ones that gotta go and there. Some people at our school need certain types of breaks, like a mental health break. Yeah, I agree with you. Like we I adults need mental health days. breaks. Mental health breaks are yes important. Because you never know what that person has. Well, Anxiety, wh- depression. Um, how do you think that we could bring that to the school? Like, how do you think you would approach that? How would you approach that as your teacher or your principal if given an opportunity? I would probably tell them that this is an important thing. It would probably help everyone's mental health in, that, in their current state. And it could also possibly increase the focus of that child. If they're and going their through grades, a rough time, possibly. They're going through a rough time, and they need a break. But they ain't getting that break they need. 
their mind is somewhere else in life, and it's not going to be focused on what they need. Spoken like a very mature, not 14-year-old. I'm Absolutely. not going to say adult. <laughs> We're both 14. <laughs> I know, Crystal, but you, do yes. you mind if I ask a question? No, and, go uh, ahead. And, and, and as I listen, I know your journey, Asher, because I am a friend of your mom's, mm-hmm. so I'm not bypassing you with this. But I heard a very positive comment, uh, Phoenix, about your mother. Yes. Uh, being supportive. How old were you when you first kind of came out to her, and what was the discussion like? Oh, that's an iffy one. Um, I came out to my mother around 12. Yes, she didn't understand it very well. She did take it hard. Sometimes, yes, that's going to be the case, because your parent has uh, seen you as not what you, you are, are now. So, yeah, they might make a couple of comments of what what's going on? How can I help this? Um, where did my little girl go or little boy go? They're going to make random comments about if they did something wrong in their life because they're not used to it. But, it's, but it ends up not being anything like that. Yes, on more on after you tell your parents, it might be getting worse. It might get better. Like this one, Crystal is still learning. She's still learning. So she's exceeding in that learning process. Thank you! <laughs> I get a cookie! <laughs> yeah. No, I get a cannoli donut. But mother, I know one of my friend's mom is decreasing in the line of learning. Like she is not understanding and quite homophobic. We call it homophobic people that do not like to understand or really hate gay people. You can't hate them, <laughs> honestly. Like, tell if they're is, not really, like, affecting your life, why hate on them? Because, the like what Peter said, it's sometimes when people don't understand, their first instinct is just to hate, to black out, to, to make it something that they don't even want to try to understand. What I've learned in my whole life of living is that people cannot go one day without making a mean comment, judging someone, making someone hurt. And I've seen on, like, streamers out there who are gay get hate, so much hate, and they don't deserve mm-hmm. it. Tell them the word, tell them the word. What word? The word. What word? The word. Just say the fucking word. I don't know I don't the know. word. You, Asher, say the word. I don't remember the okay, word. Okay, then moving on. They're trash the bags. Trash bags. <laughs> okay, well, that's not too bad a word. But you're, but you're right, and people do, they do say, I do see a lot of hate crimes. My cousin came out, oh man, maybe like eight years ago, seven, I don't remember. Mm. But... I would see how people would react to him, and it was, there was so much hate. And I know I, I, I'm going to try to protect you guys. Parents try to protect you guys, but unfortunately, the reality is we can't protect you from the real world. Honestly, yeah, that's a thing parents try to do nowadays: is try to protect their kids and keep them from seeing what the real world is. But if you're trying to keep your kids from the real real world, that's just not going to help them at all, because. If they get out there and they don't have their parent who's helping them with everything, all babying them, they're not going to get far in life. And they're not going to learn much. Yeah. Sometimes kids do need those hard times and don't need to be babied because you don't want to baby your child to go out into the harsh world that we live in now because if they just, if you let that kid out into this world, I promise you, they're probably not going to make it very far. And yeah, honestly, that's sad coming from a 14 year old yeah, who is. hasn't been living in this life very long, only for 14 <laughs> years, <laughs> is coming out and saying that. But honestly, yeah. That brings me on to something I want to say. Go ahead. Certain parents will bug out, and <laughs> <laughs> but time. they don't mean to and they only do it because of how they feel and they don't mean to say certain things that they say but some don't seem to understand that certain things that they do say is affecting can, their child's life and mental health I was going to yes. say mental health yeah that's what I had to say <laughs> that's all 
Well, that's a good observation, Asher, actually. I noticed I had a few pairs. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me cry. Should've, should've I don't mean... Know. I know you don't mean to. <sighs> I don't. You know what it's, I mean? Honestly, I, yes. It's just anger issues that people have. It's not only anger it's issues, it's also stress. Because mm-hmm. if you're a single parent, there's a lot of single parents out there, actually. And you know what? Good job for you. Because you're succeeding with nobody to help you, only yourself, and you're taking care of how many kids you have. And you know what? Not all of them are women either. There's some there's men, men like my too. uncle. <laughs> like, yeah, most people think that women are the ones Who? always staying home and doing the work. No. My mom is a single mom, and she works and works her butt off. That's right, because women can My do uncle anything. does the same thing, too. And honestly, I'm very proud of my mom for be- getting to where she is now. Shout out to Candy. <laughs> that goes to you, too. Yes, and also you. You have a lot of kids that are... <laughs> <laughs> and a dog. Pains in your ass. And okay. a dog who shits everywhere. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have to embarrass the mother. <laughs> but <laughs> this mother is doing a wonderful job raising her children. And I've been there and watching her raise her children to be the best they can. Yeah, including me. I met well, this one's house every day. Thank you. <laughs> you guys can, I appreciate that so much. You need a hug over there? <laughs> Stop making me cry. Good thing I don't wear mascara. My eyes would be oh, like black wear, rivers. I don't wear a lot of makeup. I can't. If you I'm guys could give all. one message to teenagers uh, that are going through what you're going through, maybe they're not even to your place yet. Maybe there's teenagers out there right now that are going to hear this that have not came out to their family, have not found themselves. What is something before we get off air that you would want one piece of advice or one word of encouragement that you could share with, with Honestly, the I Re- have one. Reach out to people for help, like us two, for instance. You know, reach out to people to help you figure out what to do and if you should actually say something to them. And honestly, I have one that will touch the heart really bad. Oh, no. Life is a tunnel, okay? And at the end of the tunnel, there's always a light. You want to reach that light. The light is your future. The tunnel you're walking is your path. And you want to go on your own path. Not anybody else's. Because, honestly, you want to do you. Be you, do you, and get to the light at the end of the tunnel. Sure, there's going to be bumps and hills and crack roads that you're going to get through. But it's all worth it. There are many people out there who have gotten to the light. And they're living their best lives. So I encourage all of you, even parents, to go through that light. It's the best thing you could ever do. And you know what? Parents are still learning about themselves, too. Oh Yeah, there's a lot of gay parents out there, actually, who are getting hate as well. And we want to show that you can be yourself and you don't listen. Don't listen to other people. At the end of the day, it's you want to be you. Do you. Be you. Be the best person you can ever be. And that's all that you need is yourself and people who care about you. And I'm not even going to say anything after that because I just want to leave you guys with that thought. So come back next Tuesday.